you're new to mixing, you may be wondering why the music you're producing isn't as loud as others. Now you may have looked for solutions online and found you probably just need a limiter across your master or even across a few various subgroups and channels to get a mix sounding loud. But you may have also come across clippers. Both limiters and clippers can, amongst other things, get tracks and mixes sounding loud. But there are distinct differences between the two that this video will cover. Before going into detail, listen to the following three audio examples to compare how both the clipper and limiter affect the sound and feel of a simple drum loop. Clipping is quite brutal as it chops off strong peaks and transients in audio to achieve louder sounds. It certainly has a sound, so it has a purpose. It's a different story with limiters. Think of these as heavy duty compressors with a high 20 to 1 ratio built to really clamp down on dynamic range. This heavy handed approach is another way of boosting perceived loudness in music, which compared to clipping often sounds cleaner and more transparent. Generally speaking, clippers cut, colour, chuck out and degrade peaks to get sound louder. Now limiters are more compassionate as peaks are preserved much better. Also, it's worth knowing that there are regular limiters and there are brick wall limiters. The latter goes one step further with a much higher infinity to one ratio to completely squash any sound at its threshold. Now that you've got a basic understanding of how limiters and clippers differ in sound and style, listen to that same drum example again with some instrumentation. Listen closely to how the feel and integrity of the music vary between the two. Did you hear how clipping felt more aggressive and coloured, and how limiting sounded cleaner and a tad punchier in comparison? Let's now touch on which is better to use in some music production applications. When should I use a clipper? Now we've already mentioned that clippers intentionally slice off peaks in sound. The byproduct of this is distortion, which, if pushed hard, gives sound an aggressive coloration. This saturation style can greatly affect transient heavy material, adding power, energy and attitude while increasing perceived loudness. Try clipping electronic and acoustic drums, aggressive rock and rap vocals, percussion, basses, really anything that's already got good impacts that needs further elevation in a mix. When should I use a limiter? The cleaner, gentler and more transparent clipping alternative that is limiting also gets sound loud. Now limiters are essential in modern mastering, but don't neglect using some in a mix where they are equally at home. A small squeeze of limiting can easily control and strengthen energy in subgroups, give more focus to lead vocals, even out acoustic guitar parts, really anything you feel that needs some extra density and support, but it also must retain its original tone and color. Not just for getting a mix loud. The title of this video refers to getting mixes loud, but it's also worth making clear that both clippers and limiters can serve another purpose, to condense dynamic range. So think of this as a form of reduction that helps tracks to sit more upfront in a mix. Now we know the results of clipping will sound crunchy to some degree, but not always. Depending on the track style that you're using, your ear may actually find that clipping sounds cleaner than limiting. Not all limiters are super clean sounding either. Now at the end of the day, you've got to trust your ears and compare these things for yourself. And one of the easiest ways to compare how limiting and clipping impacts a mix is with Infected Mushrooms Pusher, an all-in-one mastering tool that provides a level matched clipper and limiter at the final stage in its processing chain. Let's use this to listen to a different mix, switching between clipping and limiting to help you hear how each sounds. Which did you prefer? 
Which of these examples did you prefer the sound of the most? Let us know in the comments below. There's no wrong or right answer here. But how about limiters and clippers in general? Which do you prefer? Or do you use them both? If so, how do you use them and why? Let's get chatting in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, I'm Dan from Waves, and I'll see you again soon.